John, it looked like it slipped at the end, but a late winner, three wins out of three. Yeah, um, half time I said we could make this game as easy as we want or as hard as we want. And to be fair, they tried to make it as hard as they wanted for 15 minutes. Uh, we conceded a goal, um, let them back in. But the reaction and the motivation from the boys was outstanding to pick themselves up and go find that uh, late winner. Um, Dan Chalmers was popping up again with another late one. Um, yeah, so it epitomises the uh, motivation and the desire that all the players have got at the moment to make sure that they're in that starting eleven every Saturday, every Tuesday, and it shows out there with, like I say, last five minute winner. That's exactly what we're trying to do. Exactly that. You made five changes to the team tonight, but we still managed to get ourselves two 0 up at the break. Is that good for you? Yes, yeah, the the joys of cup competitions um, gives. All four players that were on the bench on Saturday, they all started and they all did magnificently today. And they've done exactly what I asked them to do. I said, before the game, give me a headache for Saturday. And to be fair to all of them, they've certainly given me a headache for Saturday now. Um, and that said, the first half was, was a really, really good performance. And we was happy to come in 2-0. Um, that's how I was down for a little bit, 15 minutes after um, half time. But then again, the subs that came on made a big difference and we ran even and made, made sure we got the win in the end. Two fantastic goals from Barium in his first start. Yeah, um, he's been practising those in training and he came to me before the game and said, let me have the free kicks. So I said, OK, fine. Um, but to be fair, you can see why, he, why he's been asking for them. Um, but he, he's been magnificent, he's been uh, patient, he hasn't had too many minutes. And today, I spoke to him on the, after the game on Saturday and told him that he'd be starting today, so he came with the right mentality. He knew what he was, got, what I asked him to do. And in all fairness, he did that for 45. Um, then he just had a little bit of a tight hammy, so he brought him off as a bit of a precaution. So now, and perhaps one thing to take from the start of the second half is, you know, complacency can set in at times. This just keeps your feet on the ground a little bit from players to staff. Yeah, so I um, set a few targets in the change room before the game. Um, about the upcoming games and tonight and I made it really clear the importance of each game um, and especially the next two or three weeks if we want something to fight for at the end of the season this is a vital stage of the season and you never want to concede goals but those two goals I think you're right they do keep us grounded and I think keeps them on the toes um, that it's not just a walk in the park we might be 2-0 up for games just because we've won two or three on the bounce now doesn't mean that we're just given a right to go and win games. So they then have to roll their sleeves up and dig in like they did in the last 15, 20 minutes. And then all ready to go on Saturday. Siren says soon time. Yeah, so we'll do exactly the same. We'll prepare right. Um, we won't take it lightly. Um, they've got a young side. And I watched their highlights from last week. They drew three all. So they've got goals in them. We'll just have to make sure we're defensively solid and the attacking boys do exactly what they've been doing in the last three games for me, and that's scoring goals. Brilliant, thank you very much. Lovely.